Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. In this video, we are going to learn to configure Sale Register Summary Report. So let's get started. Firstly, go to Main Menu and Expand Reports and Queries. Click on Sale Registers and open Sale Register Summary Report. This report is used to summarize sale transactions of a business over a specific period of time. Click on Configuration. Give a name to the report configuration. Then click on Print Options. This will provide you the list of columns that you want to display in the report. You can tick the columns as per your requirement. Here I am going to select Bill Number, Bill Date, Customer Name, gross amount, total units, and net amount. You will find an option of selected items only on bottom left corner. Tick to choose. This tick will allow to filter those columns only that were selected before. You can also rearrange the order of columns by using arrow keys in the right side. And also edit the names of columns as per your choice. Click on Save button. We will get back to options in Print Options later. But before that we will move forward to Other Options tab. Where various options used to configure report are available. The first option is report type which means what type of report you want to create. You can select report type as sale, sale return, sale plus sale return and sale plus attached sale return. You can choose it as per your requirement. Then, there is order by option that defines how you want to arrange the data of report. There is wide range of options available such as date wise, party wise, agent wise, agent plus party wise etc. You can decide the order as per the report requirement you have. In addition to order by, there is extended order by option available that inherits the sorting from order by option for detailed arrangement of report. You can select as per your choice. Then we have report consolidation option which means whether you want to have bill wise report or consolidated according to report order. Choose accordingly. For instance if I select a report consolidation as consolidated then the report data will be consolidated as per report order that is chosen as date wise. For now, we will choose report consolidation as bill wise. Moving on to the other options of reports, there is delivery order by option. You can choose it as delivery man wise or dock wise. Then, we have payment mode filter. You can choose it as cash, credit or check as per your need. In case you want to display bills of all three of them then choose none in that case. Then there is stock transfer filter. You can choose stock transfer only or non-stock transfer. If neither of both then choose none. Then we have description of goods column in report. You can choose it as item name, item description and item group if categorized. Moving further, we have cancel bill filter. This filter allows you to choose uncancelled bills, cancelled bills or all bills. Then we have account entry filter. You can choose according to your requirements. You can also define net amount as per your requirements using UD net amount 1 and 2. You just need to tick those fields that you want to include in net amount value. You can customize it as per your choice. On the right side, you will find range of more options. The first check allows you to use agents for account group at level 3, that is the default group used for agents. Then, we have the second option that when enabled, the data in the report will be filtered as per the selected columns from the configuration. Next option allows to display the check amount as credit amount in the report. Then we have another check that can be used if you do not want to display cash customer in the report. 
Next check allows you to display the sale accounts in the header section while printing the report. Then, we have an option that will allow to display the data of the current branch you are logged in. Next check will allow you to display only the numeric part of the bill number which means the series prefix will be excluded. Next check will allow the round of rate for excise value. The last check will allow to display only those bills in which GR date 1 or 2 is left blank. You can choose one at a time, either GR date 1 or GR date 2. Let's move forward towards the next tab that is group options. In order to create the report using account groups you need to explore the desired group in which the parties are allocated. You can also apply party group wise total to the corresponding level. Then we have user column option. Here you are provided with three user columns where user can enter any default value that will be displayed in respective columns in the report. Lastly, click on OK button and save the configuration. Click on Create button to create the report. As you can see that the report is generated with the columns we selected earlier. You can press F5 to open configuration window and make the changes you want to. Under print options, you will find the total option. You can apply order by total, sub order by total, month total and grand total. Here I am going to apply order by total. If you remember we had applied order by as date wise that means the date wise total will be applied in report. So, let's see how it works. Similarly, you can make changes as per your requirements. Another excellent feature of this report is that you can zoom into the bill by double clicking on the respective bill row. Moving on to the other features of the report, you will find the list of options just above the report header. This is setup column attribute option. It is basically same as the print column option that displays the column list. Then we have sort column option that can be used for sorting the values such as ascending, descending, ascending with totals and descending with totals. Just click on column you want to sort and then choose the sorting option. Next we have is resize column option. You can choose it as per your requirement. Next option can allow you to export the report into Excel format. Then there is export to PDF option also. You can save the report in PDF format. You can also create text file of the report using export to text file option. Then we have find option that can be used to find any character or value. First you need to click inside any row of the column. Then click on find option. Enter the data you want to find and click on find next button. When the data enter matches the value in column, it will be highlighted. Now let's move on to the printing of the report. To print the report, click on print report option and then click on print RTF mode. Print preview will open. For printing settings, click on option from where you can change font and font size. You can also save the document as PDF file from options. Next we have is page setup option that allows you to set up page orientation, margins and size. Then, we have printer page setup. This option allows you to attach the printer with software so that printer can be directly accessed while printing. You can also set margins of page from this option. 
the last option allows you to print the document. Click on print and a window will appear. You can also enter the number of copies required. Logic ERP provides an excellent feature that allows you to customize your own header section of the report. To customize the header of the report, open configuration window and go to header in print options. Enter the data you want to print as per your requirement and save the changes. Click on print with header footer and then click on print with RTF mode. As you can see that the preview displays the data defined in configuration. Let's move forward and look at more features of the report. On the right hand side, you will find the options like party, agent, series, item group, etc. that can be used to filter the data of the report. Now, click on party name filter and select the party name from the list whose report is to be created. Click on create button. You can observe that the sale vouchers associated with the chosen party are filtered and displayed. All these filters also work in the same fashion. These filters allow you to check the data efficiently and effectively. Next, we have is the option right next to configuration to create a copy of the report. You can select the report whose copy is to be created and enter the name of the report. Click on copy create button and a replica of the same report will be generated. Then there is delete option that allows you to delete a report. Next is the rename option that would allow you to rename the report according to your preference. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. For more software related updates, hit the notification bell icon and subscribe to our channel.